not trying to get in trouble. I'm not that type of person. Like, my family is, like, married to all cops. Like, I'm not that type of person. I'm such a conservative. There's no way to just give me a ticket. Please, I don't want to go in there with those people. Please. What's up, everybody? In today's video, we'll be taking a look at another Karen getting herself arrested. In this case, what was happening is that there was an altercation between her and another patron of the bar, and then the police showed up and she hit one of the officers. So make sure to watch the video all the way to the end because the charge she got for this crime is actually surprising. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. That way you never miss another video. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. He, You're going to jail. I'm sorry, he threw a fucking bottle at me. He threw a bottle at me. I'm sorry, he threw a bottle of beer at me. And then you pushed me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. That was not... That was not... That guy? That was not my friend. Yes, he's been getting... That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. That was, that was not my fault. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. I did not mean to touch that wasn't you. Her fault. I did not mean to touch you. I did not. I'm so sorry. That wasn't her fault. He threw a at me. Now it happened so quick. I'm gonna play it back in slow motion so you can see she's yelling on top of the table. Then she jumps down but continues and rams the officer. Now, I don't know if it was an accident or not. Maybe it was the motion of her jumping down, but she definitely pushed slash tackled the officer. And obviously he's not injured or anything like that, but you can't do that. So let's see what happens next. He threw a beer bottle at me. That wasn't her fault. Okay, I know. Okay, one second. I'm so sorry. I really apologize. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry that I touched you. I did not mean to. I did not mean to touch you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my car's over there. Am I really getting arrested? You look cute, though. <laughs> I'm so Seven sorry. Seven. I did not mean to touch you. I did not mean to touch you. That's so much. 740 Delta. <laughs> he threw a beer bottle at me. <laughs> We're on a disorderly intox at Joy Brooklyn. Show me type of thing. You have everything in your pockets? No. Okay. Wait, am I really getting arrested? I did not mean to. Oh my goodness. I tried to give you a warning and you didn't listen. Well, I didn't hear you because I was so. I, I know, I know, but listen, we watched you guys. You guys heard. He threw a whole you guys beer bottle had at me. You plenty of time to relax and calm down and separate yourself. I'm and so it didn't sorry. I, I, I was trying to. Oh my goodness. I was trying to go home. No I didn't. Please, I was not trying to get in trouble. I'm not that type of person. Like, my family is, like, married to all cops. Like, I'm not that type of person. I'm such a conservative. I'm not that type of person. I did not mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you taking him? 
nothing in your pockets at all? No. Okay, turn that way. <clears throat> So on one hand, she seems very apologetic and she's one of the very few people on this channel that actually see that they did a mistake and apologize. But on the other hand, you can't be getting drunk like that and jumping on tables because things like this can happen. So she should have calmed down and separated from the situation instead of escalated. <laughs> Please let me go, please. That's not an option at this point. What did hey, I do? Can you please you, tell me what you I... You pushed me after I, I stepped up to you and told I you wasn't to even, calm down. I didn't even notice you. Because <laughs> I was so focused on him, please. We were, there were 10 cops standing out there for the last 30 minutes. I was not, not focused not really on you guys. I, I was... get it, but... <laughs> oh you're not catching a battery on the LEO charge. <laughs> just, to just, just go ahead and sit down. Oh, oh, yeah, no. You'll get out once you're sober. All right? <laughs> he threw a beer bottle at me. <laughs> Who is he to you? Excuse me? Who is that guy to you? He's just one of my good friends. <laughs> He's just my friend. Anyone can tell you I'm not drunk like that. I'm really not. He just threw, I just have a temper. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to push you. I did not okay, mean to I get push it. you. We're kind of past that. What's your last name? Rivera. How do you spell it? R I V E R A. <laughs> First name? Jasmine J A S L Y N. I'm sorry? J A S L Y N. O I N? L Y N. What's your middle name? Leanne. I tried to stop her. How do you spell it? L E E A N N. L E E A N N. There's no way to just give me a ticket, please. I don't want to go in there with those people, please. <laughs> please, I don't want. Please, just give me a ticket. I will show birth. up to court. Let's get. Let me get all your information. Seven nine eighty eight. <laughs> please, just give me a ticket, <laughs> please. I don't want to go in there with those people. <laughs> What's your phone number? What's your home address? <laughs> I don't want to go in there with those people, please. Um, give me a ticket and I'll show up to court, please. Please. <laughs> Is this your boyfriend or what? We're like, we're talking. Okay. I'm talking. <laughs> I don't want to go in there with those people. I What's his name? Your friend that threw the beer bottle at you. It's Alec. A L E C. Alec. Um, Woodland. L W O O L E. W O O. Woodland. Um, Can you spell it? Do you know how to? W O L D E N. W O O. L D E N. L D E N. Woodland. You don't have a wallet or ID or anything with you? So I want to ask you guys' opinion on this one. Do you think this is warranted? Because obviously she was attacked with the bottle, she was freaking out, and then she jumped on a table. Do you think she handled this right? Because I honestly think that she should have separated herself and none of this would have happened. I understand it can be really crazy to get a bottle thrown at you but freaking out and pushing a cop is definitely not the best solution. I do. Where's that? He has my backpack. Okay, do you want to take that with you or do you want him to have that for he now? He has my passport. <laughs> please don't put me in there with those people, please. Please don't put me in there with those people. Hang tight for a second. <laughs> What's your last name? Do you have an ID with you? My parents are sheriffs. Where at? Ohio. <laughs> Doesn't really do much here. Okay. I just, I mean, for, I, for what it's worth, that wasn't her fault at all. That. The, I get it, but when I, there's 10 cops standing out there and I approach you and tell you to I calm know. down. I know. I and you push me, I, you, you know, you kind of tie to, my hands, you I know? I tried to grab her. 
call, bro. Is this your current address in Punta Gorda? Yes, What's your current address? Uh Apartment 107. Uh, 34209. What started the argument? The, the kid, Tyler Midkiff, that what, I'm sure this is the other kid that got booked. His name's Tyler? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, the tall kid. I used to be his wrestling coach in high school. Um, he's a punk. Um, he uh, graduated Charlotte High School a couple of years ago. He joined the Marine Corps. Uh -huh. Got kicked out of the Marine Corps. What, what was the argument about? I, I, he's just he's just being a dick. Um, he was. I mean, it, it, it sound, as stupid as it sounds, it was about pizza. Okay. Um, I, I don't even have an argument for that. Um, Why do you throw a beer? Because he's a punk kid. Yeah, that's that's exactly why I did it. Okay, just give us a second. Right? Yeah. So, mm. So luckily for this video, we do have the arrest report and she only got one charge, which is disorderly intoxication. Now, she's really lucky she didn't get a battery on law enforcement officer charge because that would have been a lot more serious. So they cut her a break. Now, the good news is that the punk kid, Tyler, was also arrested for disorderly intoxication. Now, if she would have just chill and not jump on the table, then possibly he would have been the only one arrested in this situation. Anyways, it is what it is, and I'm sure she'll learn her lesson. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.